All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. Let's get in some NCAA basketball picks and props for Sunday, December 24th, slated games. Trey, let's throw up the leaderboard. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I gave out a late game. I'm 0-0 at the moment. It was St. Mary's minus 11.5 versus Missouri State. Whenever I did my research, it was minus 8.5. Whenever I recorded, it was minus 11.5 at tip-off, minus 13.5. So hopefully you got the numbers somewhere with St. Mary's. Either way, I have a lot of confidence with it. Yeah, very hot start. 20-9 in the first five minutes for in favor of St. Mary's. So hot start there for you, Trey. I had Arizona minus six and a half. My failures continue. Really good game. If you did watch it, we got a double overtime game. Uh, Arizona did lose outright as favorites. FAU, very, very good team. They got the job done. All props to them. 0 and one day for me. Trey, let's move on to our players for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, we only got four games. They're all part of the Hawaiian Classic. And I'm going to be attacking the Nevada at Georgia Tech game. And it's going to be a very fun game to watch. Both teams, they've been playing some great basketball this year. Nevada, they come this game with an 11-1 and record, and they're also 9-3 and ATS. Their lone loss this season was on the road against Drake, who is a really good basketball team. But they've been dominating teams other than that Drake game this season. And in their 11 wins, they've been winning those games by an average score of 82-64. to So winning those games by an average of almost 20 points per game. And Georgia Tech, they come this game with an 8-2 and record. They're also 6-5 and ATS. But they're entering this game on a four-game winning streak. And throughout this season, Georgia Tech, they beat some good teams in Penn State, Duke, and Mississippi State. But in their two losses, it's been against UMass Lowell and Georgia. So both these teams, they have found success at certain points this season. But I'm going to be going with the mid-major here. Give me Nevada here, minus 6.5 here in this game. I think they should easily be able to win this game by double digits, if I'm being honest. That's because they're a very balanced team, the Wolfpack. They come this game as a top 85 scoring offense and have a top 50 scoring defense. That's a deadly combination, and I think it's going to lead them to a victory here. Give me Nevada here, minus six and a half in Hawaii on the island, baby. Let's go. Trey, I love that play there. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at TCU going on the road to play Hawaii. This game, like Trey said, going to be on the island for the Rainbow Warriors. I'm going to take Hawaii plus six and a half to make this game interesting against TCU. Everybody knows that I can't not take Hawaii on the island, so I'm going to take them here to cover the spread. I do think that six and a half is a little bit too much because neither of these teams on the season have been good at covering a number. TCU is below 500, sitting at five and six against the spread. Hawaii is sitting at four, five, and one. So I just don't trust TCU to be able to cover a number, especially on the road here in Hawaii. The only losses this season that TCU have are against Clemson and Nevada. Nevada was their last game. They lost that one by 13 points. The only top 25 team that they've played this season for TCU was Clemson, and they lost that game by eight. Hawaii's <coughs> also lost in Nevada this season, but they only lost by six of them. TCU lost by 13. I'm not trying to compare the losses that they've had, but it feels like these teams are closer in talent-wise than this number suggesting. Both teams have players that can put up big points, double-digit points per game. They both have three players on the team that are scoring double digits per game. I think this game might come down to the last couple of possessions. So I'm going to take the points with the Rainbow Warriors as my play on the island. Zach, who do you like tonight? I'm going to go the opposite direction of you, Bear. I'm going to choose actually the TCU Horned Frogs because just looking at some just brief statistics over here, um, TCU, they're shooting about 50, or this Emmanuel Miller for TCU is shooting about 52.7% from the field, 17.3 points a game. Uh, there's also a Jacoby Coles averaging 11.4 points against the last 10 games for TCU. The Rainbow Warriors, however, only averaging about 75.7 .7 points a game, shooting about 46.8% from the field. So I'm going to go with the Horned Frogs here. They're averaging about 86.5 points per game, and they're shooting slightly better at 49.2% from the field. So give me the TCU Horned Frogs to play the Grinch against Hawaii. The Rainbow Warriors are going to go down. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about the size of the forward for TCU. Emmanuel Miller, obviously one of those guys, a monster, but... 
I'm going to trust the Rainbow Warriors here. Another head-to-head. You do have the advantage on me. 0-1 oh, for me on the head-to-head, but I'm looking to get back to 500. Trey, let's go to the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, at the moment, I'm 0-0. Oh oh. I gave out UL Serrano under 19.5 PRAs versus UConn. I just checked the score. Uh, we're five minutes into that game, and St. John's has a whopping one point, and Yoel Serrano has one PRA for one rebound. So, so far, so good. Just got to hold out uh, hope in UConn's defense. Very good. Uh, I went one and on the day. I had Caleb Love over 17 and a half points. He scored 26 points. He shot 35 times or something like that. Um, last shot of the game was horrible by him as well. So, he at least he did go over the points, but he had a really bad game in my mind. But, Trey, let's look at the plays for tomorrow. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to take a player prop for my game pick here. And give me Gerard Lucas over his points versus Georgia Tech. I really love this over for Lucas in this game. He's been great for the Wolfpack this season, especially during the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. And this is the championship game. And in the first round, Lucas, he scored 22 points. And in his last game in the semis, he scored 25. Both are above his 17.3 point per game average. But I think that he's going to have a chance to reach that 20 point per game threshold here again in this game. That's because Lucas... He takes a ton of free throws in Georgia Tech. They're in the bottom 100 when it comes to allowing free throws. They allow a little over 20 free throws per game. So, Lucas, he should be able to dominate and get to the line consistently. So, give me Gerard Lucas to go over his points versus Georgia Tech. Yeah, that's right. I like that one there. For my player prop today, I'm going to stay in the same game that I took for the game pick. I'm going to stay on the island, take Noel Coleman to go over his total points against TCU. Like I said in the game side, the Rainbow Warriors, they have three players scoring double-digit points per game this season, but Coleman is their go-to man. He scored 15.1 points per game, playing the most minutes per game, and he's shooting nearly 50% from the field. He's also very effective from deep, shooting 38.2% from the outside, and Hawaii does run their offense through this guy. In his last game against Georgia Tech, they lost. He played 29 minutes. He made zero points, 0 for 6 from the field. He finished the game with zero points. I know he's going to want to come out in this game and make up for that. If we take out the last game, he scored 14-plus points in seven consecutive games, having scored 20-plus points in three of those seven games. Hawaii will need their best player to perform in this game. So i like him to go over his points. Big bounce-back spot for him going up against TCU. Over his points for Noel Coleman as my play. Zach, who do you like? Since there are only four games tomorrow, I'm just going to go ahead and go with a player prop for my game pick, Emmanuel mm-hmm. Miller, kind of like what Bear alluded to earlier. He is a stud. He's a six seven senior, spent the first two years of his collegiate career at Texas A&M, so he's used to this good, uh, these big games. He's averaging 17.3 points a game, uh, shooting 52.7 from the field. Just looking at his season averages and season totals, he just continues to just improve. I mean, his freshman year, he started averaging only about 6.4 points a game. Now he's already up to the 17.3. So just continually getting better. I think he's going to show up and have a good game tomorrow. And so I'm going to give Emmanuel Miller over the, his regular season points. So over 17.3 for Emmanuel Miller. I like that play, Zach Trey. Let's go to the graphic and we'll get out of here. Yeah, guys, I'm going with Nevada here, minus six and a half against Georgia Tech. They're the better team and it's in Hawaii. And Uh, Georgia Tech to Hawaii, it's a long ways. They've been there for a while, but at the end of the day, I feel like there's going to be more fans from Nevada there, friends and family. So I love Nevada. They're the better team too. And also going with Gerard Lucas over his points versus Georgia Tech. The guy's a stud. He's been pouring on the points throughout this tournament. Yeah, I like Noel Coleman over his points. He scored zero in the last game. That's not going to be the case in this game. He's going to have a big bounce bounce back game against TCU. And then I like Hawaii, plus six and a half. Make it interesting. They're on the island. Maybe we get some magic and they win outright. I don't know. It's going to be a head-to-head against Zach. I need the win because I took the loss last time against the head-to-head. So hopefully I get that win there. Guys, that's going to do it for NCAA Basketball Plays and Props for Sunday, December 24th, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 